In this video, let's talk about how to enable SSH on your Ubiquiti Unify cameras. We all know sometimes you need to log on to your Unify console devices, for example, this cloud key, or for example, the UNVR, or sometimes you need to log on to your Unify switches, right? We all uh, get that part. But in some scenarios, you do need to log on to your Unify camera. In that case, I did uh, some search online, but the Ubiquiti Unified documents was not very clear about SSH for the console or SS for the uh, cameras and some steps, uh, basically I couldn't reproduce the, the same result. So I did some research. Uh, that's why I'm having this video. First, let's uh, clarify which SSH we are talking about. On this slide, you can see in the left side, if you have a Unify Protect setup, you must have some kind of uh, Unify Protect console already. For example, this G2 Plus or UNVR. And in my case, I use UNVR Pro, but uh, in my understanding, they all work the same way. So uh, whatever I talk about in this video should apply apply to all the three of them. For your unified console, of course, uh, you can uh, enable SSH and you can log on to it. But what I want to talk about in this video is this part in the right side, the SSH for the cameras themselves. So now let's go to the Unify Protect user interface. Let's see what are the settings for SSH. The left side is the Unify Protect. Before we go to the camera settings, let's see the overall Protect console setting. Let's click the, this system setting. So here, if you click this settings button, you can see SSH enabler button and then here you can set the password. Keep in mind, this is for your console's SSH is not for your cameras. But we also need this information in this video because we need to log on to the console to do something, to enable cameras SSH. Then let's go to the camera setting themselves. Let's pick this uh, camera as example, the 129 G4 bullet camera as an example. And note down this IP address. Let's try to log on to it. In the right side, I have the terminal. Let me go to the 129 IP address. And here, see, I'm using the UBNT as username. You can also use root, it's the same thing. See, I got the error message, connection refused. Why? Because the part 22 is not open, we need to enable the camera's SSH setting. Even though you just saw the console has the SSH open already, but the camera still cannot work. Then let's try to see whether we have any settings for camera. Let's click the setting button here. Then let me go to advanced. Here you see a device password. This password is used by Unify Protect as the SSH password for your cameras. But even though here you can set password, uh, we just tried, we cannot log on to it. I cannot find anywhere else you can do any camera SS settings, which means by default SSH on your cameras is not enabled. How do we open it? We need to log on to the console's SSH. Right. Uh, let me do that now. I know my UNVR Pro's IP address is 224. Do it here and I input the password which you can set on your UI. We just saw it. Okay, we are in and it says it's a Unify NVR. Ubiquiti saved the configuration file in a very long, tedious folder. But the quickest way to find it is you simply run this command, find, and the starting folder is the root folder and then you see name and you, what you want to find is called config.json. It's a JSON file. Very fast, we already found this folder. So you don't have to type in the file name, you simply copy it, then you can proceed. So the next step is for us to edit this file. 
This is just a pure text file. It does come with VI, but if you don't like VI or you don't know how to use VI, remember we are talking about a Linux environment, right? So the Unify console operating system is, I believe is based on Debian. So you can use the same way in Debian Linux to install new software. For example, you can use the same way apt dash get and then you say install and then nano you can install this way it will work just like your normal debian linux you can try this but because i want to use vi so let me directly use vi and then let me copy this file path okay It's a very long configuration file. If you don't want to read the details, you can directly go to the very end of the file. Because I'm using VI, the shortcut is capital letter G. Okay, I'm at the end of the file. What you want to edit is this line. So see here, it says enable SS, SSH force, right? You want to change it to true. And let me save it. But remember, this is just configuration file. You need to restart the service so that the new configuration can be recognized. So the way to restart it is, again, uh, it's a Linux environment, nothing special. You simply use service. The service name is called Unify Protect. And then you say in, uh, restart. See here in the left side, uh, it's already restarted. And here in the right side, let's wait for several more seconds. Then it will be done. Try to log on to the camera again. First exit the UNVR Pro SSH. Okay, let's use the 129 camera. Okay, it now is asking for password. Basically, that means the SSH already been enabled. Let's see whether the password works. Where is the password set? It's in the Unify Protect UI, but in under the device setting, not the your UNVR console setting. So it the password can be different than your UNVR. Okay, we are in. Basically, it's another Linux environment. What I want to do is I want to export or download the certificate. Uh, maybe you have your own scenario. But basically, this short video is to introduce how to enable the SSH for your camera. Thanks for watching.